So welcome back everyone. Uh, it is uh, my pleasure to introduce uh, our next speaker in this workshop, Tufik Mansour from the University of Haifa. And he will tell us about restricted permutations, the conjecture of Lin and Kim, and work of Andrews and Sharon. Tufik, please. Thanks for the invitation. It is my pleasure to be, to share, actually to share my work in this uh, nice conference for Amitai and Doron. Actually, it's work, from the title we see three works. We see avoiding a set of veteran in this form, conjecture of Lin and Kim, and work of Andrews, uh, Andrews and Decha. Actually, this work started from 2014, seven years. And uh, we started from something obvious to do. And then we discovered that we need some huge software to do what we should do, and I will explain. Actually, first, let me explain. Avoiding a set, this set for me, it's a set of permutation on n letters. And uh, by is, uh, I will write it in one line notation, by one, by two, to by n. And the tau for me is a, a small permutation, tau one to two k. So we say by contains tau if there is some sequence uh, of uh, k indices such that uh, the letters of by in this indices is all the isomorphic to tau. That means it's if by in I1 less than by IB, if and only tau A less than tau B. And we call it a button. We said by avoid tau if there are no such uh, subsequence. The set of all tau avoiding limitation, I will denote by is in tau. And if there are a set of veterans T, I will denote is in of T. That means in, 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 in the section of is in tau where tau in T. We call T and T prime belong in the same symmetry class if tau prime can be obtained by simple action from T, which means simple action is reversal, complement, or inverse. And we say T and T prime belong to the same Wolf class if and only if the number of permutations that avoid T is the same number of permutations that avoid T prime for any N. Uh, 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 from Z. We donate the number of Wilf classes of subsets of K patterns in S4 by WK. Uh, uh, sorry for this victory. It is well known that W1 is a three. That means the number of Wilf classes on avoiding one pattern of length four is three classes, three different classes. And if we avoid two patterns, of four letters, we have 38 classes. So what we show the following theorem: W3, W4, W5, and W24 is obvious is one. So it's not easy. Look at the numbers. We will see it's there are no human can do that by, by hand. So the, to determine WK for K at least three, so we need, this number is a huge sum of K from three to 24 is about 6,776,950. See, it's impossible to reach by using generic function, by using explicit bijection to do enumeration one class by class. So we need stop to it. Question for you. The way, what? Question. Yes. In your theorem, uh, the Ws, is it obvious uh, that it is unimodal sequence? Actually, this is this is a good question. It's not obvious, in my opinion. I 
So for example, let us say avoid, we want to avoid veterans, K veterans from S5. Can we prove its union model without calculating WK? I don't know. So the way out is to combine several software programs. So here it is. First of all, I want to count all the subsets of S4 that have K buttons. I using Kushnow's algorithm to find the symmetry classes of all the subsets T led by SCK. And for each symmetry class, I calculate the first 16 numbers, that means number of permutation of length in that avoid T. Then I used insert, insertation uh, encoded uh, baggage that to determine the genetic function for SNT. That means genetic function for the number of permutations that avoid the set pattern T, if it's possible. Not for each T, I can do this. So if the insertion encoding algorithm fail, then I do it either by hand or by some other software. So here I use silk decomposition to find the general function where the uh, insertion, insertion uh, encoding algorithm fail. But then after I found the general function, I will count how many different general function I got in the case k, and this number is equal to w. Here I will give one example. Are you is. saying? Are you saying that you can always? I saying for for is four from three to twenty four. I always can use self decomposition to find the general function where the insertion encoding a good fell. I don't. I don't say always it's possible for any set of veterans from S5 or S5 or S6 or so on. Here I will give you some example. Let P this one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, but the seven veterans and tau one, three, two. What means tau? We will see. We define the cell diagram of one, three, two. If we look to the picture, here it is one, three, two. We see one, three, two. I, I take a board of four by four, and a cell is said to be shadow of a dot in the cell diagram of tau if it is either directly southwest or northwest of the dot. And we see it's black here and here and here. I will do that this cell one three, this cell one four. For example, this cell, I call it two one and two two and so on. So we have the, this cell. Actually, I will say here, either I will read this or I will define for you what means 132. 132 is the minimal occurrences of 132 that appear in the permutation. That means the lift most letters. That means one is the lift 132. So this letter is the lift most letter that appear in the permutation such that is the first letter of 132. Then this is the second letter. Then this the third letter, which I say this occurrence one, I1, one, I2, I3, such that I1 minimal, I1, I2 is minimal, I1, I2, I3 is minimal. So this will use 1, 3, 2 minimal. Then after I reduce that, I check each cell. Each cell, if it's if I put some letter in a cell, can produce a pattern inside T. If yes, I make it empty. If not, then I make some condition. In this case, I see all the cells are empty, not the cell 2, 2, which it should be increasing, and the cells 3, 4 increasing, and the cell 4, 3 
also increasing. So that means if I want to avoid the, the permutation that uh, uh, on, uh, to count the number of permutations that avoid P, I have two cases, either contains one, three, two, or avoid one, three, two. If it's avoid one, three, two, is Catalan numbers, done. If we contains one, three, two, then it will be the self decomposition. If the self decomposition, it's easy. It's three dots, x three, and three increasing subsequences, one minus x bar three. Then we have the general function for such number of permutations that avoid it. Okay, this is, it's easy. Actually, it's easy. I, 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 I should say this is easy. It takes time. It takes for me five years, but it's easy. Then it's coming. I saw one paper of Lin and Kim, and I coming to this conjecture of Lin and Kim. So at first, before I say what is the conjecture, I say what is in inversation sequence. So in inversation, within a permutation, sigma is in order bear a b such that a less than b, but sigma a it's greater than sigma. B. That means number of references of two one. The inversation sequence of a sigma is a given by a one a n where a i records the number of entries of sigma to the right of i and less than i from for each i in n. So who introduced the inversation sequence? Cortel, Martinez, Zavage, and Wislosh, and by me and by Mark Shatok. And actually, these two group introduce such this uh, definition. Then I will come to Lin and Kim. Lin and Kim, we know about Schroeder numbers. It's coming by this nice recursivic formula. Uh, and they introduce another Schroeder numbers, actually. And they found this 10 cases. When we avoid each case of these cases, we get the shorter numbers. And actually, they found better than this. If they define shorter numbers in different way, and it's in K, and they define that they found that if we, the number of inversion sequences that avoid zero to one, where by n is k modulo n, it's exactly enumerated by this input, by, by this issue number. And they found a connection between inversion sequences and restricted permutation. So if mu and mu is two patterns of length four, then is in K, the number of permutations that avoid these two patterns with sigma one is equal K is if and only if these two patterns are from this, from this nine cases. And the generic function for this uh, is in K, this number of Schroeder numbers is given by this form. So first, this conjecture. So how we deal with this? Uh, Actually, fit, yes. The, the assumption is for all n and all k? The assumption? Yes, yes. Actually, k is in between one and k and n. It's because it's the first letter. It's in k is new Schroeder numbers, new triangle of Schroeder numbers. And they discovered this, the, the only nine cases that enumerated by these numbers is in K is given by this list. And what is the nice thing is given by this connecting to the inversation sequences I N zero to one. So, and here then it's coming my idea to use the cell decomposition with different statistics to get the enumeration. So with help of frequencies relation, general function and computer programming, we are lucky 
I, I, I was I, actually, I should be honest, I super lucky that we broke this conjecture. One of the harder cases is the case one, two, four, three, and one, four, two, three. So I will just give you some opinion how we count this. Of, of course, I will not go to the details. Okay, first I will do this with first letter and second letter. I will extend this. So by one is I and by two is J and I call this A N I J. So this is number of permutation that avoid these two veterans that start by I and start by J. I start by I J. Here it is the end. This is the crisis that found. Actually, I didn't count by hand. I guess that by computer in some motivation why I guess this, then I prove this. To prove that, it's also some magic by projection and by so on. So the second question, if we saw such lemma and such, such references, how looks the J function if there can be translated to general function. Actually, yes. Here it is another magic. How we translate it? I define six types of general function. A, everything. A plus, that means above the diagonal. A minus below the diagonal, if we look at the permutation as a matrix. C, X, B, one diagonal above the main diagonal. One diagonal, two diagonal above the main diagonal, and B is it is everything above the diagonal, the third diagonal. And here is the general function. So if someone, well, I think it should be. Actually, I was surprised how I can solve such system of equation by hand. I should guess something. How I can guess something actually? If I want to guess solution, it's easy to check by computer if the right solution satisfies such recurrences. The difficulty of this, this function equation is that you see sometimes the generic function at bxw1, sometimes at x1 minus bwx, bw over one minus bwx, and so on. So different points different conditions. So how we can do this? Actually, this all this equation move to one equation. Here it is. So A plus with something, A plus, plus, and so on. This is the function equation that is, I uh, say, the cool general function can be uh, extracted from the above. And the solution, by a lot of luck, computer programming means I get a formula for a plus. Here is the general function. And a minus. Again, it's very hard. Then we have so the, 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 the case one, two, four, three, and one, four, two. Actually, we solve each case like that. And actually, Lin and Kim conjecture more than this. If we take these six cases and we do Q bar number descents, B bar first letters, it's the same with distribution of Q uh, uh, distance letters of E minus one, B last letter of E, if we take over the inversation sequences that avoid greater dash uh, greater. And this is only the six cases. It's easy to check. And this is all this six cases coming from the nine cases that we deal with them before. So 
can we prove this conjecture? As we see, the Genève function here, without variable q, it's complicated. So how we deal with this? Actually, the Genève function for the, for the right side, it's easy to, to find. Here it is, where t is this square root. So Lin and Kim don't know about it. So. And they ask it about bijection. Actually, it's very hard to, to find the bijection. I did, I, let us say I tried and failed, but I know how to count the lift sides for each case of sigma and delta. And I got the same genetic. And actually here to do the enumeration, it's lot, lot of computer problem. So the paper can be found in archive. Now, this gives motivation more to look at Andrews and Chern work. And here, actually, we didn't prove anything more than Andrews and Chern, but we give, let us say, Andrews and Chern the, the proof that give show the NDP one is by functional equation without bijection. And we like actually to solve the case, this uh, N of inversation sequences avoid such three types of uh, letters by this. And here, as we see, we define two statistics which called is height. Height means maximal letters, EI such, EI and EI plus one make the same. And for each letter of height, the maximal, I defined also depth of E, which is called can you, can you, EI J, J plus one, yes. Explain the notation in your in the statement. Uh, I don't understand. The of what? I yeah, in the previous slide. Yes, yes, here it is. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, the notation of this. Uh... Yeah, actually, the notation is easy. For any inversion sequence, for any inversion sequence, I define the height and the depth. Let us say, forget it from that. We define two boxes, called two statistics. One is called height and called it. Okay, to find such a statistics, it's you lucky, actually, to find the right statistics to make the enumeration, as Doron usually say in his papers. To, to decompose your set to small sets, you need some magic. And the magic comes from the statistics that you make. After you make this statistics, I will not throw, read over this. I will say, I define, I decompose a n two subsets, b n i j and c n i g. And for each subset like that, or for each class like that, I define the general function, which according to the number of descents and number of ascents. Also for BN and also for CN. After we define this as a function, I, we discover very simple formula, okay, from that B with decomposing that AN, what we want to enumerate is exactly BN plus cn plus q power n minus one, this is the trivial case that is not counted by b n and c n. So now to find a formula for n, I need a formula for b n and c n. And here it is. Here is the genetic recurrence relation between b n and, and c, c n. 
So again, as we see, the formula is not easy. And especially if I continue, because I need more than the recurrency, one recurrency, because I have the M for I less than J. What about I greater than J? What about I equal J? And what about CM? If I go to through all the cases, I found very non easy recurrences. That means, yes, and Bruce and Chair make a good work. Actually, they didn't do that by this method. They use different method, but they arrive to functional equation. So why this method? Because this method give us two statistics. In Andrews and Chan, give one statistic. And here it is the JR function. And if I define the JR function for each case, I equal J, I greater than J, or I smaller than J, for both the JR function, I see here is the functional equation. And you see again, the functional equation, it's similar to Lin and Kim conjecture in somehow. And again, and again. Oh, this one, this one functional equation. Actually, it's take for me few weeks until to understand how to program this and get the solution. Or let us say, to extract this or construct the solution. And here it is. By computer programming, we showed the following. The JF function AX is given by this, where B minus is given by this. Oh, with, remember, KXV, this called kernel. And here it is KXV, A1, a2 and A3 given by him. And what we were, we was very lucky. Why? Because KXB have two power series solution, zeros, V1 and V2, where V1 and V2 are as a Taylor expansion given by this first two theorems. And if I substitute them, in the functional equation here, we found B minus and B plus, explicit form. And if we make some verification for such a uh, the general function is given by this, where V1 and V2 is uh, the zeros of the term. Okay, this is, what given? Okay, if I look to the references from where this all is coming here, up to reference 10, actually more as, as for T, we see all the work of restricted permutation of this form. If I look to Lin and Kim, these two papers, 15 and 16. If I look to the work of uh, the uh, extension of the work of Andrews and Chan is the paper of That is That's all. And happy birthday, Amitai, and thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Questions, comments? Uh, Tufik, uh, I have a yes. question about the very beginning uh, about the sequence W1, W2, up to W24. I just noticed that it's not in the OIS. So it's a very interesting sequence. So I hope that you or some of your students uh, or collaborators will enter it. It's really, if you do it by brute force, it's hopeless. So it's really a deep result, these 24 numbers starting at three and ending at one. Yeah. It's not in the OIS, I checked during the break. Uh, yeah, it's not on the OIS. Usually it's a very nice I, sequence. I do not yeah. put my sequences in the OIS. 
So I leave this to my students. No comments? Yes, the features. Uh, do you know if there is a good extreme grammar decompositions for those uh, permutations? Again, do you know if there is a context-free grammar decompositions for those uh, permutations? Uh, you see, to decompose, actually, to decompose, it's, it's, for me, it's magic. Usually, usually, most of the time, doesn't work. But, when I take a case, I want to count all the different balls. Usually, I find three things. First, insert, insertion in coding algorithm. Second, self decomposition. Third, to find the statistics that can be decomposed the same. So, to find the statistics, usually I have at least like 100 statistics. But I move. I'm not moved by hand. Actually, I by move by computer. If I see something nice, I will do that. If not, then I say, okay, this is hard problem. So there are no answer actually. <laughs> Maybe if other comments? If not, let's, let us thank to Fik again. And we will convene in eight minutes for the fourth and last talk of today. Eight minutes. Context three, context three. Sarah, you hear me? Maybe I should try with the chat. You can hear you, yes. Perhaps uh, Arvin was perhaps typing, or some people put their microphone, so there was some noise at the same time. You were saying to fix yes? About context three? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's good, good point, actually. I didn't talk about that a lot, but seem to me you are right. It's yeah, it could be the case that one of them is related to planar maps. Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure, but perhaps there is a set of two patterns which are in projection with the planar maps. I don't remember which one. And for this one, it may be the case that the asymptotics is something like uh, some, okay, A to the N, N minus, five over two. And if there is this minus five over two exponent in the asymptotics, then it cannot be context-free. But I am not sure which uh, in your yeah, 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 list, yeah. which one will be uh, will be uh, of side type or, or not. Actually, I understand your work exactly, but seem to me you, it's, it's good to try context-free drama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but if it's, I don't know any example of context-free drama because